guys welcome back to my channel I'm Sydney today I just wanted to show you um, I went to Goodwill earlier and I picked up some things and I didn't buy a ton of stuff but I did find some good brands um, a couple new items Goodwill was a little weird today like I kept trying to look at stuff and there was this lady in there and every time I would go to one of the racks to look at stuff she would jump right in front of me and she wasn't even holding anything or buying anything it was like she was afraid she was gonna miss out on something or that I was gonna find something for her I mean every single time I would go to a rack she would jump literally right in front of me and so I was getting a little irritated um other than that though there's this really cute old man in there and he came up to me because I was looking at stuff and there is this old wedding dress hanging there and he comes up to me and he goes, you're going to need one of those soon, talking about the wedding dress. And I was like, oh, well, I hope so, you know. And he was like, um, he said, you train him. He said, you train him that when you say shut up, he says, yes, ma'am. I said, yes, sir. So just in case you were wondering what life is like in the South, that is life in the South for you. Just a little story time from my Goodwill shopping today, but that happened. Anyway, I'm going to go right into the haul for you guys. Um, the first thing I found, I'm actually wearing it. This is really, really comfortable, and I've never worn this brand before, but I was really excited to find it because I love athletic wear. Um, but this is a top. It's a tank top by the Kalia brand. Kalia is actually Carrie Underwood's fitness brand. Um, I'm not sure where they sell it. I know you can get it online. I'm not sure if there are stores or I haven't really looked into it too much. But um, I was I haven't I've never worn this brand before, so I was super excited to find it. It still has the original tag on it, the Kalia tag. So it's never been worn or washed or anything like that. I tried to film it. It's really hard to film yourself, but I'll insert that footage here. so you can see kind of the rest of it um but yeah it has like a price tag on it let's see can't really see it was on clearance for $17.97 I don't know what the retail is uh, but it's super nice top it feels really good it feels really good quality like it'll last a while um through the washing machine and everything so I picked this up today for like $3.99 um it has like really cute seam detail like right here going down the side which I like um, it's stretchy it's comfortable so really good find anytime I find like athletic wear clean athletic wear new um, I pick that up just because I like to wear it um anyway so I'm gonna go into the haul not um the rest of the stuff really isn't for me but I'll show it to you anyway um this is a bathing suit top by, you can see that, by the brand uh, Athleta. If you've ever heard of Athleta, I believe Athleta is owned by Old Navy, but it's a very, very good quality athletic brand. They have swimsuits, they have activewear, pants, all kinds of stuff. Um, this is one of their swim tops. It's got really cute details on it. It's gray with pink and green. It's got like the racer back to it. Um, it doesn't really feel like it's ever been worn or washed or anything, so it's really good condition. Ignore my dog. He's kind of freaking me out. Um, there's, like, people outside. <laughs> anyway, let's see. This is a really cute, um, it's a one-piece bathing suit from Victoria's Secret. I might try this on and see if it'll fit me. Um, it's got really good, like, really sturdy top which I like and then it's got the halter strap which is also good because I can't wear bathing suits with like these little tiny straps it just like doesn't work um but yeah so just a black one piece bathing suit really good condition it's not faded or like pilling or anything Victoria's Secret Let's see so it has like a name it doesn't have a specific name just from Victoria's Secret so I picked that up. Um, if you want like nice bathing suits, go to Goodwill because I find all kinds of name brand bathing suits at Goodwill and at thrift stores. 
Speedo, Nike, whatever you could ever want. Really cute bathing suits for like three and four dollars. This is another Athleta bathing suit top. It kind of matches the other one a little bit. It's just a different color. Um, this is an Athleta bathing suit top. It's pink with like green and white detail on it. it ties in the middle. And then it kind of hooks around like that. That's not working. Anyway, um, that's the logo in case you're curious. If you want to see it, you can look for it. Yeah, Athleta bathing suit top, size medium. Pick that up. Apparently someone broke up with Athleta because I got almost all the stuff I got with Athleta. Um, this is just a basic black cotton, I guess, tennis skirt. It's a little long to be a tennis skirt, just like an athletic skirt. Like cotton skirt, run errands in. Really, really cute. It's black. It is a size. It doesn't say what size it is. It's a size small. Really cute. Just something cute to put on, throw on, go to the beach, whatever you need to do. This is a little crazy because this is for a kid, like a little girl. It's Athleta brand. It still has the new tags on it. The retail price on this is $39. It says crisscross my heart sweatshirt. Kind of feels like a sweater. It feels really, really nice. Don't get me wrong. But $39 for a kid's sweatshirt? That's crazy. Yeah, you can see the little crisscross at the bottom. I guess that's what it's talking about. But yeah, so found that. Brand new with tags. It was $1.99 because it's a kid's whatever. That's how much the kids' clothes are at my Goodwill. Um, last thing. Is this men's Columbia? I'm in South Carolina, so college football is really big here. Um, this is a Clemson men's Columbia PFG shirt. It's in really awesome condition. It looks brand new. I mean, it's not faded. It's not like the embroidery is not coming off of it. It looks brand new. Awesome find today for like $3.00. It's got the tigers embroidered into the sleeve. Um, people pay good, good money for sports memorabilia. Um, anything that's embroidered like this. I used to work in a shop that did like monogramming and stuff. People would come in all the time wanting this. And it's real, we couldn't do this. We could only do USC stuff because you have to be licensed to do this. Um, but I mean, people love embroidered stuff. So if you ever find anything that, you know, you want to, like, put online to sell. Like, maybe you can't keep it to yourself. Um, look for personalized things, embroidered things, monogrammed. Um, it would be kind of hard to sell something monogrammed with, like, three initials. But if you can find one with, like, one initial, um, people love it. People go crazy over monogrammed stuff. So, that's my bolo of the day. Sports, embroidery, monogramming. Keep an eye out for it. Especially if it's on, like, a Columbia PFG shirt. People love these things, um, and they're they're a great brand. They're like fishing shirts. Um, most of them, this is a polo, but most of them are like button down shirts. Really, really big in the South. I don't know about like up north and things like that. Here in the South, men wear them, women wear them. Um, it's a huge thing to get your PFG shirts like monogrammed on the back for your wedding and wear those while you're like getting ready. So if you can find those, I would definitely recommend picking. Anyway, that is my haul for today. Um, I spent like $20 on all this stuff. And I got this really cute new brand new Kalia top. So that is my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I bought today, what I went shopping for today. Um, I have some other cool videos planned for the week. So make sure that you are subscribed and click the little bell so you'll know whenever I post them. Um... But yeah, so that was my Tuesday, and I hope you enjoyed my story time and haul, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!